Uh, Rich Smith, co-founder of Atlas Med Staff. Uh, I also serve as the chief marketing officer and the receptionist too. If you have to stop by our office, right up front. So uh, a lot of you probably see me on YouTube. Uh, we social media is a huge, huge piece for us. So if, you, if this looks familiar, minus the hat, obviously, that that's probably why. Earlier this month, we attended Staffing Industry Analyst Healthcare Staffing Summit in Boston, Massachusetts, and. Uh, had a ton of fun. It was it was good to get back out again to see people that we haven't seen for a while and uh, just have those conversations within the industry with not only like-minded friends from other companies, but then the ability to meet new people and understand maybe our struggles are their struggles and our successes have been their successes. And you know, what's going well in our industry right now, as crazy as it all seems. So in addition to that, I had the honor of speaking on a panel called Travel Nursing in the Pandemic and Beyond with Holly Bass, a VP for Medical Solutions, Christopher Brink, the president of Favorite Healthcare Staffing, and Matt Pierce, the founder of Trusted, who I've been on a panel with before. And uh, we, we always tend to have fun with each other when we, when we do those panels together. Uh, but talking about what travel nursing looks like in the pandemic and then what it's going to look like maybe after we come out of this, uh, I think one of the things that we pretty much agreed on as, as a whole was we don't know. We don't, one, we don't know when it's going to end, right? We have no idea when it's going to end. We have no idea when rates are going to come down, normalize, what normal looks like anymore. I think what we think of normal back in like maybe the 2018, 2019 sort of time frame is gone now. And we have a new normal that we're gonna to have to get used to where rates will, rates will come down from where they are but they'll still be higher than they've probably ever been before. And demand is still going to be higher than it ever was before. So a lot of hospitals and a lot of hospital systems have gotten very used to contract staffing, uh, maybe that they haven't before, and, uh, and, and they're gonna continue to utilize them because they see the benefits, quite honestly, in using contract staffing just across the board. So I wanna thank my three panelists, and of course, Timothy Landers, who uh, moderated the panel for us. He was awesome. Uh, I look forward to doing these again in the future. I always volunteer when they, they will send out an email or whatever, I always, I always raise my hand. I think it's a lot of fun. Not that I have a ton to offer, I just, I I just think it's a lot of fun to do uh, and and to share the stage with with those three was was an honor for me and and uh, something I would definitely look forward to doing again. Mm -hmm.